We're given three sets. The universal set you is the usual suspects, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Within the context of the problem, these are the only things that exist. Also given are two sets A and B. This Venn diagram is not necessary here, but we're going to see that they are very, very useful. So the first set that we need to find is the intersection of the complement of A and B. First, we have to find the complement of A and then intersect that with B. So if A is 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, then the complement of A is everything except for 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So as we count, whatever is not in A goes into the complement. It's everything but A. So that would be 1, 2 is in A, 3 is not in A, so it goes into the complement, 4 is in A, 5 not again, so 5 is in the complement, 6 is in A, 7 is in the complement, 8 is in A, 9 is in A, 10 is in the complement. So basically a set and its complement should cover the whole universal set, and they shouldn't share anything. Visually, it would be, we would be focusing the bubble representing A and everything outside it. So they are grouped together, uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 10. So eventually we're just going to be able to look at the Venn diagram and see that. So we're going to take the intersection of the complement of A and B. So that would be the intersection between 1, 3, 5, 7, 10 and B, which is 1, 2, 5, 6, 9. The intersection is a set of all elements in both sets. So 1 is in the, this intersection, not 2, not 3, 5 is in both, 6 is not in the first one, 7 is not in the second one, 8 is in neither, 9, that's it. So visually, what would this mean? Complement of A intersected with B. So that is the elements that are outside of A and inside of B. Outside of A, but inside of B, that is our 1 and 5. Okay, let's see the next one. So next up, we have to find the complement of the union of A and B. This is a case of an invisible parenthesis because the complement sign stretches along an entire expression. We, we should work out that expression before we can take the complement. We have to take the complement of A union B. Well, what is A union B? A union B, we just need to throw together all these numbers into one set. So there is 1, 2, neither of them has 3, 4, 5, 6, no 7, 8, and 9. So visually, A union B is inside this double bubble. So it seems to be correct. So the complement of the union would be everything except for these numbers. We have seven numbers here, so the other three will. One and two are here. Three is not here, so it goes into the complement. Four, five, six, seven is not there. And then ten. So what we have visually would be what is in the complement of the union of A and B. That is exactly outside of a, both A and B, and that is our set with three, ten, three seven, and ten. Okay, next up. So the previous problem was the complement of A union B. This here is the union of the complements. Now we're going to take the complement of A, the complement of B, and then take the union. Given what A is, again, the complement of A is everything except for these five things. So that's 1, 3, 5, 7, 10. Outside of A, 1, 3, 5, 7, 10. And the complement of B would be everything except for these five. So that's 3, 4, 7, 8, 10. So outside of B, outside of this, 3, 4, 7, 8, 10. So now we just take the union of these two. Basically, we just throw all these together into a single set. So we get 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10. So probably the most important thing here is that these two are very different. The complement of the union and the union of the complements, the answers were very different. The complement of A union B was much smaller than the union of the complements. Finally, we could say, okay, how could we do this visually from the Venn diagram? Could we do that? So basically, we have to throw together the complement of A and the complement of B, which is everything outside of B, and now we have to take the union. Everything outside of A together with everything outside of B, that means that basically the complement of this here, right? 2, 6, 9 is the only, only three things that are not in this one. Why is 4 in the union? Because it's in the complement of B. Why is 1 in the union? Because it's in the complement of A. 
So actually, and, and this can be proven rigorously, and it's an interesting part of set theory that so happens that the complement of the intersection is the same as the union of the intersections. Kind of cool. Thank you for watching.